welcome to our channel. I'm Twist. And I am Taken. This is OTOT News. This is the update for the story back in July 2022 when the entire staff of the Kenley Police Department resigned from their positions. The staff included Chief Josh Gibson, Officers Austin Hills, Jason Tedder, G.W. Strong, Darren K. Pate, Utilities Clerk Christy Jones, and Assistant Town Manager Sharon Evans. Gibson made a statement saying I have put in my two weeks after 21 years of service. The new manager has created an environment I do not feel we can perform our duties and services to the community. The accusation was backed by the four officers that resigned who said, the office environment became toxic since the day Justine Jones got assigned as town manager. Kinley may be a small town, but Friday they let it be known that their concerns are big. We just want to support the town manager who has been doing a good job. Um, and you just want to make sure the process is fair, whatever's done. But listen, we have a great police department. Okay, she is not for our police department. This all comes after the town's police chief, Josh Gibson, said he and his department's four full-time officers, along with the town's utilities clerk and assistant manager, turned in their two weeks notice because of the environment he says the new town manager has created. The town manager, Justine Jones, started last month. After only three months into her two-year contract, the Kinley Town Council voted 3-2 to two during a special session on August 30, 2022, to remove Jones from her position as town manager. While the council member including Mark Smith, Trinity Henderson, and Bobby Peel voted to fire the new manager, Lawan Daniel and Keith Davis voted for her to stay. The decision followed a month-long investigation of claims by the staff members who resigned. According to Kinley Town Attorney Chip Hewitt, everybody is trying to convolute and make this report about the town manager and the contract and the discharge and her being fired. Mayor Tu E. Hales stated the firing was not solely related to the investigation and the resignation of the employees. The majority of the council decided Jones just wasn't working out. Jones released a press release that read while all related information is certainly a matter of public concern, the allegations made against me were timely and thoroughly vetted by independent sources and there was no such finding of wrongdoing by me or my office. The decision to not communicate the entire story and publicly share the findings of the report is most unfortunate. The town's mayor told us the investigation did not find there was a toxic work environment. <laughs> Jones was emotional Friday after receiving a standing ovation from supporters. But I never expected within weeks on the job to find more than half the staff or about half the staff walk out the door. What they didn't realize when they did that was the bloodline that I come from. I wasn't built to break. I wasn't going to let them go to Records show Jones sued her previous employer the Richland County government in South Carolina for gender and racial discrimination. She alleged hostile treatment by Richland County leaders and her supervisors. She was terminated on March 30, 2015, and that lawsuit was later voluntarily dismissed. However, the council allegedly settled out of court for $175,000. The termination of the Kenley town manager has left the town split. While some are calling it the right decision, some are inspecting the matter as a race issue given that Jones is black, in contrast to the small town police department, which is entirely white. Jones' termination came at the end of a 90-day review period built into her contract, she'll take home a severance package of about $50,000 half her salary plus benefits. It is still not clear if the officials who handed over their resignations will be returning to their posts now that Jones no longer is employed by the city. Johnston County Sheriff's deputies will be patrolling the town in the meantime. There will be two officers assigned to the town at all times to ensure people are safe. What are your thoughts about this story? There was an investigation held that basically highlights that there were no findings of wrongdoings by Jones so what is the real reason she was terminated? Comment your thoughts below.
Thank you for watching. Please stay safe in this harsh world and please subscribe.